wedding week continues here on the Fox 61 Morning News. Lauren Zenzi is back with us in the studio with a look at the top wedding dress trends of this season. Lauren. This is a great segment. Trends are forever changing in the bridal world, especially right now. I had the chance to visit the white dress by the shore in Clinton to learn about the latest trends and how the industry has evolved as a whole due to the pressures of the pandemic. Take a look. Being in business and being an entrepreneur for 17 years, I really thought I had seen most things and that I could handle most things, you know, and as an entrepreneur, I love a challenge. The pandemic was more than a challenge, to say the least. It was more stress than any business could willingly bite off and chew. This I did not see coming. I did not know how to handle it. I didn't know what to do. Um, so we just did our best. The March 2020 shutdown really rocked the bridal world. Creating a bridal gown is really, it's a global product, you know, like so many products are. Turnaround times were extended, manufacturing was delayed, and brides' frustrations grew. Even if the gown is made in the United States, the elements come from all different places. So the fabric may come from Europe, the zipper may come from China, so the crinoline may come from another part of the world. So those elements have to come from all different parts of the world. So as a result, even though we started to get better in the United States, deliveries were still delayed. After the two month shutdown, businesses opened, but with strict guidelines and experiences far from normal. But Beth knew she still had to live up to expectations pre COVID. I just want brides to feel special, especially right now during COVID. You know, this is one of the sort of normal things that they feel like they can do. But I really want it to be a memorable experience. And what I love about shopping in a brick and mortar bridal store is that it has a nostalgia to it. You know, it's one of the things that your grandmother did when they bought their wedding dress and their mother did when they bought their wedding dress. There are so few traditions that are left. Typically, brides bring their friends and family to pick out their dream dress, but COVID had other plans. I think one of the biggest challenges was navigating how to share an experience with family members and loved ones without them being present, because when we first opened, we could only have one guest. But Beth says that looking back at it, it was actually a benefit to the bride. She says three guests is the perfect number. It's really important when brides come to shop for their gown that they bring the people whose opinions really matter the most to them. You have to understand when you ask for an opinion, you're going to get an opinion. So you have to be ready for those opinions. So brides would come in with either a parent, sibling or friends and had the option to have family and friends wait on the front porch for the big dress reveal from the boutique's beautiful picturesque window. Picking out a dress is not only exciting for a bride, it's also really exciting for the bridesmaids. With COVID, Beth and the team here at the White Dress created the outdoor garden soiree. The bridal party would sit out in the garden with masks and social distance and have some champagne and cupcakes. And two by two, we would take the bridesmaids into our bridesmaids studio to have them try on dresses and get measured while the rest of the party was out enjoying the little garden soiree. And it was just a nice little reprieve for bridal parties to get together safely and to accomplish what they needed to do for their bridal party. So if you're a bride gearing up to find your perfect dress, here's some advice from the top in the bridal business. First up, trust the professionals and it's really good to trust your stylist because you know they do this for a living they're experts in what they do and just because they may be suggesting something that you don't love on the hanger it's really important to try it on because that could be the one second have an open mind you may see something on Pinterest or Instagram that you love, but putting it on your body is a whole different ball game. From lace and beaded bodices to tulle, trim and silhouette, bridal trends are always evolving now more than ever. We're really seeing two different extremes in bridal. So either really clean and simple and modern or very, very textured with sort of three dimensional lace or flowers or details. So there's really kind of two different extremes in bridal. And I think that speaks a little bit to what went on with COVID. I think brides are either deciding, you know what, I'm going to have a little bit of a pared down, simpler wedding, or I'm just going to go all out because I've waited so long for this to take place. 
to make the experience a more seamless one and for the stylist to get to know their clients before their appointment, Beth's team was able to create an online gallery with all the dresses in the store for brides to heart their favorites and make comments. We set that up for COVID and we're going to keep that going forward because it really allows the bride to get a sense of what she's going to be trying on. We had to put some things in place because of COVID, but those elements really, I think, made our business even stronger and created an even better experience for our client and allowed us to really get to know our client before they even come in to have a bridal appointment. After talking with so many different wedding vendors, including Beth and Todd from yesterday from Jock in the Box, he was a DJ. All of these COVID guidelines and all of these new reinventing the wheel that they had to use really did give them the opportunity to expand on their businesses, Tim and Erica, and grow. And a lot of these things are going to be staying in place. I think it's really great. Yeah, it's good to see. We really haven't seen much on not just about weddings, but specifically about the wedding dresses. And mm -hmm. that's just such a big part of what the Huge. bride gets to go through when she's planning her wedding. So it's good to see yeah. that's happening again. Right, Lauren, thank you so much. Okay, it is 1052 coming up. Uh, we're going to get another